Hello class 2, welcome back. Uh, I hope you all are doing your studies. Okay, in this video I am going to teach you mental maths. Now we have completed exercise 1 and 2 and some of you have also sent me for correction. Okay, so that's good and I would encourage other students those who have not sent, please do send your work so that you can get to know that whether you have understood or not. Okay, now let us start with exercise number 3. Now, I would request everyone to take out your uh, book so that you can look at the question with me. Okay. Now, see here. Exercise 3. First question I have written. 73 plus 7. So, it is a simple addition. What do you have to do? After 73, you have to count forward 7 numbers. So, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79 and 80. So, over here answer comes... 80. The next one is in 10 how much will you subtract so that you will get 3. So here you can see what you will do you will subtract this number from here. From 10 you will subtract 3. So whatever you will get the answer you will write over here. So I think the answer will be 7. Okay. Then we move to the next question. What number comes after 169? So just count after 169. Either you can add 1 or you can just simply do countings. 169 and then next is 170. So you write your answer 170. Then we have the next question. How many tens and ones are there in 111? So you see here, this is ones place. Okay, and the rest will be tens place. So we have 11 tens and 1 ones. The last digit will be only in ones place and the rest will be in tens place. Okay, so we have 11 tens and 1 ones. After this, question number 5. In question number 5, 476, then the circle is given. And you have to say which one is greater. So you see here this is 476 and here it is 40 tens. 40 tens means we know 4 into 40 into 10. That means 400. Now out of these two numbers which is bigger? Obviously 476 is bigger than 40 tens. Okay. After that we have the next question. Uh, question number 6 you can see 27 plus 3. So you just add 3 more in 27. You will get the answer 30. Then we have next question number 7, 9 minus 4. So either you can do backward counting or you can do simple subtraction. 9 minus 4, 9 minus 4 is 5. After that we have question number 8, 27. Then a circle is given and then 30. Which one is bigger? 27 is bigger or 30 is bigger? So in that case, first what you will do, you will check the place value like this, 27 and 30. So you will check the tens place. In 30, 3 is in the tens place and, and 27, 2 is in the tens place. So which one is bigger? Obviously, 30 is bigger. Next comes question number 9. What comes between? 459 and 461. So you have to just write what is the number between 459 and 461. So obviously after 59 what comes? 60. So write 460 over there. Uh, the last question of exercise 3 440 plus 60. So you have to do simple addition 440 plus 60. Do the addition what will be the addition? 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 6 is 10. And then carry over. I know you have not done the carry over. So this carry over we add in the next place value. So 4 plus 1 is 5. The answer is 500. Okay. So here we complete exercise number 3. Then we move to the next exercise. Exercise number 4. Now you can see in exercise number 4. The first question is, what number comes before 279? 
Now you have to just count the counting just before 279 what is the number. So you will write there what before 79 what comes? 78. So you will write 278. The next is 25 comma dash comma dash and 28. So you have to write the missing numbers. Then question number 3. 119 and 211. Which one is greater? You have to write that greater than sign. Then question number 4. 300 plus 6 is greater or 306 plus 5 is greater. Obviously you can see here. <coughs> the next one is 306 plus 5. So you will add 300. 306 plus 5 is 311. Which is greater than 306. Okay. Then again. The same type of question you have to find out whether it is bigger or smaller. 476 is uh, like no, which one is bigger? 476 or 440 tenths. Then question number 6 also same. 4, 4, 499 is bigger or uh, 399 is bigger. You have to find out the greater number. Question number 7. How many tens is are there in 268. So as I have told you to find tens and ones what you have to do. Say for example this is the 268. Okay. In 268 only the last place value which is in ones this will remain in ones place and rest all the digit will come in the tens place. So what are the digit? 26. So this will be in tens place Okay, and this will be in 1's place. So, 26 is in 10's place and 8 is in 1's place. Then we have the next question. Dash plus 11 is equal to 20. In 11, how much will you add to make 20? So, you can do the forward counting also. Or you can just subtract 20 minus, 20 minus 11 also you can do. So, that comes 9. That way also you can do. Okay. Now number 9. 55 plus 5. So just add 5 more in 55. And you will get the answer. The last question. 100 plus 4 tenths plus 3 ones. You have to write in the compact form. So how will you write? The answer will be what? In ones place you will write 3. In tens place you will write 4. And in 100 place you will write one. So the answer will be 143. Okay. So you will complete these two exercises and if possible you can do exercise number 5 also because in exercise number 5 also the similar type of questions are there. And if you cannot understand any question just leave it blank. I will give you the answer. So you can do exercise number 3, 4 and 5. Okay. So till then this much only keep uh, learning. And uh, do write me in the comment box and also send your work for correction. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.